<laughs> Yo, people, what are you telling me? Ah, we got scammed, fam. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, usual green screen settings, blood don't hate, fam. We got scammed by the broke billionaire, fam. The silence is deafening right now. I'll be completely honest. Mama's was just chilling in the sun, just waiting for the communa cardo, fam. The communa cardo official, blood, and it hasn't arrived, blood. Them broke billionaires, blood. Ineos, bro. You see when the rat got announced, I was pissed. I think we all wanted the Qataris, blood. We were doing the broke billionaire thing. And I said, you know what? We're going to give man the benefit of the doubt. Do you know what I mean? Man was talking about the best in class. All of this rubbish. Man saying the man want Ashworth. And then they announced Barada. Then man started getting gassed because man thought we were going to be trying to play the city ball. And it looks like this whole thing was a scam, innit? It looks like the whole thing was an absolute scam. Because if we're being honest here, this brother said he was a fan of the club. If he's a fan of the club, he just pulls the plug on this manager, innit? Like, this guy's got a worse win percentage than Jose, fam. A worse, bruv. I remember there was a, a period in time when man was saying, um, oh, but look at the win percentage. Now that's evaporated. This guy's broken every flipping record and he's still here. Man had the goal, you know, the confidence to go on holiday. Man don't deserve a holiday. This guy has constantly got a worse and worse and worse record to the start of the season after constantly spending more and more and more money. And this player has the cheek to go on holiday. Man said he built a wall, 200 grand wall, yeah, because he was afraid of people stealing his tactics. Brother, there are no tactics, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? You got a better chance of stealing Jay-Z's lyric book, blood. He don't write nothing down, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? Man's talking about tactics, building a wall. Ain't the bruv. Listen, it's obvious to see, yeah, what your tactics are, blood, from watching five minutes of your team, blood. Man don't need to send spies, bruv. Do you get what I'm saying? This guy is tapped, bro. I told you, man, he's got the triple D, the Daniel Dynamite Dubois, blood. That's what he's got, blood. You know what I mean? He's got that social communication issues, blood. The guy's got problems. Why is no one pointing out that this guy's got mental issues, blood? This is not a normal guy. This guy's tapped. Do you know what I'm saying? Brother, like, I used to think maybe he's an android, but bro, androids are made by humans, blood. There's nothing human about this bread. This bread is an alien, fam, with his alien head, fam. Do you know what I mean? The whole thing is killing me right now, bruv. The whole thing is killing me right now. And the silence is mad. Their man said, yeah, that they didn't do nothing in the summer because Ashworth. Because Ashworth wasn't there. All right, cool. Ashworth's here now. There's no foresight. Man is saying, oh, seven games ain't a big enough sample size. It's not seven games, blood. This is the third season. So what was Ashworth doing the last two years? You're trying to tell me that he's not aware of the results of the last two seasons. He's not aware of the minus goal difference. He's not aware of the fact that we ain't scored more than more than 58 goals or something like that over the last two years. Well, he's not aware of that. It's not seven games, blood. It's not seven games, blood. It feels like seven years. This is depressing, blood. Actually, tell a lie. It's not even depressing, blood. Because, bro, I'm so close to not giving a flying fuck anymore, blood. So close, blood. You know what I mean? I might have to take my talents to South West London, blood. You know them on South Beach and that, bro. Might have to take my talents to South West London, bro. Heard Jaden Sancho's playing over there. Oh, Rance, you love Sancho more than you love the football club. So what, bruv? Paul Pogba to Marseille. We shall be there, bruv. We will be there. Man like Gunwood and Paul Pogba. Listen, we're going to France, blood. That's where we're going. We're going wherever the football's at. We're going to Bayern Munich, fam. Do you know what I mean? My guy Elise is there shelling, blood. Shellington, bro. You get me? We'll be over there. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, Musiala's a fraud, but let's, we're, we're going to get back on topic. I know you, man, don't like that take. But, bro, the point is, yeah, the silence is crazy, bro. How is that? Their man said that they couldn't get rid of man because of Ashworth. Ashworth's here now. What is he doing, bruv? Because when you look at um, Obi, um, when you look at the Kone, you, the Lasale or whatever his name is, all these other guys, between Wilcox, yeah, and Vivell, their man have made these things happen. What is Dan Ashworth doing? He's supposed to be, uh, he's supposed to guy, be the guy that does the structure, isn't it? He's the guy that built the structure for the FA and the Southgate and the Carsley and all of this crap. Who cares, bruv? Do you know what I'm saying? Get man a manager, bro. There's managers out there 
Jurgen Klopp's just been announced as the Red Bull guy, yeah? And there's a clause in his contract that he can go and he can coach um, the German national team at some point when Nagelsmann moves on. Brother, go drop the money and get Nagelsmann, bro. There was a man coming out saying that actually... What, what exactly did they say? They said the rumour of the FFP, uh, us not having money to sack the manager, is not true. But maybe it is, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? These broke billionaires, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? There's no foresight because I refuse to believe that they have a manager in mind right now that they just can't get. I refuse. I refuse, blood, because they could have done that in the summer. Whoever that was, it would have been easier to get them then than it is to get them next summer. It don't make no sense, bro. They let Kieran McKenna sign a new deal, so obviously he wasn't the long-term guy. Because if he was, they would have just bit the bullet and caught McKenna in the summer. Nagelsmann, after the tournament, if they wanted Nagelsmann, they could have easily approached him then. Tommy Tukes was available. He said he wanted some time out. What kind of football are these men trying to play if they want Thomas Tuchel, bro? Because Tuchel ain't had a style of play anyway he's been. He adapts to the players. He's not the manager I want. Cool. He's a million times better than this manager. But then on the flip side, yeah, go pay Thomas Tuchel £10 million and tell him, listen, you're the interim manager to the end of the season, Brad. If you got money, but you ain't got no money, bro. These men are broke, fam. Because you don't have to give him the long-term job, but you can say to Tommy Tukes, listen, yeah, this brother's dead. You're on trial to the end of the season. Do you know what I mean? If you get us top four, you can stay. Because that's what they want. They want top four, bruv. Or maybe they don't. Because if it was the Glazers, they would have got rid of that poor seal already. So, man's not really sure what these men are trying to do, if we're being honest, innit? But they should have been able to dash some money at Tommy Tukes and say, listen, we need you on an interim thing, similar to what Chelsea done with Gus Hiddink. They always just brought him in. He was the caretaker, bruv. Man just came and just, you get me? Just made sure the building was secure on them things. We could have easily done that with Tommy Tukes. Xavi Hernandez is available, blood. Listen, them men are talking about our tapas and all them ones, the Paella Pulis, bro. Go get Xavi then, because we know that Xavi's going to play champagne football, blood. We know that Xavi's going to play the champagne, bruv. We know that. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's saying that he flopped, yeah? That he flopped at Barcelona, but brother, even if he flopped at Barca, yeah? My man won the league in the first season. The way that Real Madrid are set up and the way they're spending money, them man weren't supposed to do nothing. I'll be real. They weren't really supposed to do nothing. Barca's run like a shit show, blood. Sign bare dead ballers. Fair enough. They're doing all right now under Hansi Flick. But, bro, the setup at Barcelona is dusty, fam. Let's not pretend, innit? Like, even Xavi can do something. Give man a little 18 month contract. See how he gets on, bro. We shouldn't be against sacking managers, bro. But we need to get out of the rut that we're in right now. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't need to... It's one of them ones where... You don't need to chase perfection to the point where you're overlooking improvements. Almost anything's an improvement for this player. Even if we can't get a long-term manager now, we can still go and get a Xavi or something like that if we want to play ball, bruv. Because the players are already in. If you tell them you can't sign no players, you have to deal with what you, you've got here or a Tuchel, it's no problem. Man are publishing graphs saying, oh, these are the managers that suit Man United the best. And Man are seeing Amarim and all these guys. McKenna's on the list. Why is McKenna on the list? He's never coached a top team. Do you know what I mean? So why is McKenna on the list? And if McKenna's on the list, then why is, why is Thomas Frank at the bottom? Why is he below Eric Ten Hag, blood? How can Thomas um, Frank do worse than Ten Hag? It's all bullshit. All these stupid lists, blood. Man don't care about these lists. Go get someone. And obviously, these men don't trust Rude, innit? They've brought in Rude. They've probably seen him in training and thought, you know what? Maybe he's not the guy that we thought he was, or maybe not long-term. Cool. If that's the case, I applaud it, because I don't think long-term Rude is the guy. But short-term, give man a job till January, bro, because he can't do any worse than this manager. Even if he doesn't do better, he can't do worse. Just the fact that the players like him, yeah, and they'll perform for him, it's already an upgrade, bruv. It's already an upgrade. What are these men doing, bro? They're pissing me off, bruv. I'll be real. They're pissing me off. There's nothing about this that is acceptable, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? There's nothing about it, bro. They're a disgrace. Barada's come from Man City. A man's overseeing this shit, blood. Ed Woodward would have dashed away fucking um, Ten Hag already, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? That guy would have been back in Amsterdam, bro, smoking a pipe right now if it was up to my guy flipping Edward, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Man don't know why I'm going for Myrtle, but you see Ed Woodward, bro, I swear down, 
he would have collapsed this manager, bro. That's what we got to know. Bro, I swear down he would have collapsed him, bro. So, yeah, I'm flipping, bro, like, I'm pissed, fam. I'm pissed, but I'm not pissed, in it Because these men are pagans. So, you know what it is, yeah? Mandem, obviously, it's Man United, Brentford. They're silenced. There is a possibility they could replace him, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So, it's Man United, Brentford. Man's going to see who Chelsea are playing, in it. Man's going to see who... Liverpool and them man are playing because bruv, if there's a better game on, fam, you man can go over to Saeed TV, blood, to watch the Man United watch along because brother, these man are pissing me off, fam. Do you know what I mean? I need this manager out, blood. What's the difference between sacking him now and sacking him in three weeks? Because he's going to get sacked. There's no two ways about it. He's getting sacked soon, innit? But why am I waiting, blood? Do you know what I'm saying? Why am I waiting? They might, because there's no outstanding candidate, bruv. You don't have to be an outstanding candidate to do better than this bald bandit, blood. Do you know what I mean? Man is saying, our oh, rants, does Javi speak English? Bruv, this barled idiot don't speak English, blood. Do you know what I mean? So what are we talking about? Man sound like the virus chat GPT, blood. This bread don't speak English. Do you know what I mean? So even if Javi was coming through with his buenas dias, blood, or whatever, blood, listen, can't be no worse than this, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Listen, he had fucking Al Sad playing Tiki Taka, blood, and you're telling me that he can't do no better than this. The recruitment under these men have been an absolute joke as well, blood. I was cool in the summer, yeah, but bro, them man went and brought in fucking Masrawi, blood. Now we got Masrawi and Ericsson, blood, two men with heart problems. I can't fucking believe it, blood. I thought these men have medicals. You know, like that, this is crazy. They wouldn't even let man box on misfits, blood. Do you know what I mean? With a dodgy heart like that, blood. And then man are playing for Man United. I can't believe it. Like, what are these man doing, fam? That the whole thing is crazy. Man see a Masrawi fucking... Man are seeing Masrawi um, rumours online, fam. Do you know what I mean? And, and I almost missed them because they were getting drowned out by the flipping young Philly stuff. You know them way there, bro? It's been crazy, blood. I left the country for five minutes, bruv, and everything's going down the fucking shitter. Can't believe it, bruv. Do you know what I mean? But the recruitment's not good enough. I'll be real. Like, how do you miss something like that? Man, I say palpitations, bro. I told you, man, when I saw the sunroof on top of his head, bro, maybe he's lying about his age, you know. That's crazy, bro. The man like Jafar, blood. And as for um, the recruitment, this Ugarte, blood. Remember I told you, man, about Ugarbage, blood. Do you know what I mean? Ugalaga and that. Bro, it's time to look at these guys through a different lens, innit? I know Flawless. I know um, Nuruddin and them, man. I've said, yo, we don't trust these brothers, but yo, it's time to really know Diddy take a deep dive into some of these transfers, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? Because fam, it's looking spooky right now. It's looking real spooky right now. I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all, bro. Like, we are in the, we're in the gutter, bro. These men were supposed to liberate us. Do you know what I'm saying? From them reptile glazers. But bro, as soon as Jim got in bed with the glazers, do you know what I mean? Man said anyway, we have to side out, man. Because if you're a real Man United fan, you want them out. You don't work with these guys, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? So ultimately, man's gonna do what he's gonna do what he does for himself. He's a self-serving brother, innit? He calls himself a fan. He ain't really a fan like that. Do you know what I'm saying? He's not really. Because if he was, he would have got the Glazers out. He would have got them out. So we need to look at this brother through a different lens, blood. He can't be trusted. Just like that donor, Gary Neville as well. I see a little clip of him as well with Roy Keane. I think it was an overlap thing. And he's talking about, oh, he was in the meetings for the new stadium and the redevelopment and that. That's why he'll never come out and he won't say nothing, bro. Because he's sitting in the meetings. He's a fraud as well, blood. He's an absolute fraud, fam. And this is what it is. That's why you can't take nothing this guy says seriously, bruv. Remember, he was the same guy going for AFTV. Do you know what I'm saying? And then he went and sat down on AFTV and now he's got his own podcast and that. This guy's an absolute fraud. Do you know what I'm saying? This guy's always out talking about politics and all these other things. Like he's holier than, than thou, yeah? And he's in bed with them bums anyway. Do you know what I mean? There's no such thing as an ethical billionaire, bro. Do you know what I mean? So when you want to talk all that talk, blood, make sure you're not in bed with these guys, blood. And this is what it is. Gary Neville's a scrub. So he's another one. The whole thing stinks right now, people. So, bro. I'm seething, blood. I'm absolutely seething. But at the same time, I told you, the show goes on, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting for Pogba to be announced at Marseille in January, blood. Pogba, blood. I'm telling you, what, him and Gunwood, bro? That's a title charge, you know? Brother, we're shameless, you know? Swear down. If the Zerbi, Pogba and Greenwood are about to win this title, blood, we're going France, you know? 
And I'm taking you lot with me. We're vlogging that shit. We're going to Marseille, blood. Is my mad? You're going to see me with the ultras, fam. Do you know what I mean? With a baguette, blood, and some snails, blood. It's crazy in the dunya. But nah, hey, listen. I can't even lie, bruv. I heard it's like single digits in, in London right now. Degrees and that, bruv. And I can't lie. The sun's burning off, burning off my head back right now, bro. I know you, man, can't relate, fam. But I don't know. Before man wrap this up, let me, let, let me show you where we're at anyways. Yeah, bruv. Yeah, we're chilling, fam. I'm about to go gym still. I'm about to go gym. I'll show you the gym. It's kind of dead. Not even going to lie, bruv, but it's one of them ones where I'm going to have to get it in when you're away. And, and it's mad. The eggs here as well. The eggs don't even mess up my belly, blood. That's how I know England, blood. Food's dead, fam. Swear down, I can eat eggs here. But I can't eat eggs in England, bro. So I done, man, I've been eating six eggs for breakfast and I've been fine. Imagine, the only machine they got in here is a leg extension and a leg curl, which is fine for me anyway, because I need to do my hamstring rehab. Man got my exercise bike and that. And that's all man's got, bruv, but we make it work. Pull-ups and that, and we're good. But it's right by my room, so it's calm. I can't lie. It's right by my room, so we're just chilling, bruv. So I wake up every morning, go in the, go in the flipping, um, in the gym. And yeah, it's pretty calm. And then literally, round the corner, round the corner, man, just go dip in the pool. Well, there's loads anyway, to be fair. There's loads of pools. That's just one of them, but... Man's there, bruv. You get me? And that's just one of them, so... It's cool. Don't pray for me, innit? It's one of them. I know certain men are stressed at home and that. It's all cold. I heard it's cold, but... Can't relate to them things there, people, so... Yeah, man. Big up though, big up everyone inside, man. It's been peak and that. Jim the rat, the fraud, the broke billionaire. You man enjoy that, innit? I'll be back. I'll be back on Tuesday, fam. So the next show will be <laughs> fitting Red Talk with Saeed, fam. Do you know what I mean? And that's, that's about to go off because obviously the game's going to be on the weekend. So, yeah. Who knows, I might not even be watching that. It might be a Chelsea thing, bruv. You know what I mean? Man like Sanch, bruv. In a bit, people. <laughs>